binary logistic regression with categorical predictor in SPSS. Binary logistic regression is a statistical method that is used to find out whether there is a relationship or an association or a link between two variables. One of the variable is the outcome or the response variable or the dependent variable. The second variable is the predictor or the explanatory or the exposure or the independent variable. To perform binary logistic regression, the outcome or the dependent variable have to be binary. Binary variable means that have only two levels such as have diabetes, doesn't have the diabetes, smoke, doesn't smoke. For uh, the um, predictor, it can be continuous variable measured at a continuous scale, uh, whether it's interval or ratio, or it can be um, categorical, uh, or which have more than two levels in it, then it's called uh, multinomial, uh, such as occupation, doctor, dentist, scientist, and so on. Or the predictor can be binomial or binary in which it have only two levels in it, uh, such as male or females. Uh, predictor can also be uh, ordinal. An ordinal variable is a variable with uh, classes or categories in it, but with order. For the binary logistic regression with categorical predictor, or multinomial predictor, the predictor have at least uh, three uh, categories in it or more. In this uh, SPSS data uh, sheet, I had inserted 200 cases. We have here two variables. The first variable is uh, smoking. The second variable, whether you have cancer or no cancer. The first variable is a categorical variable. It's multinomial uh, variable because it have in it four classes uh, or four categories. Non-smoker group, group that smokes uh, cigar, groups that smokes pipe, and groups that smoke uh, cigarettes. So there are four classes or four categories in the first variable. So it is multinomial variable with four categories in it. Cancer, whether you have cancer, yes or no. So this variable is binary or dichotomous or binomial. Uh, so we have here two variables. One of them is categorical and the other one uh, is binary so the outcome here is the cancer so cancer is binary and the smoking is a predictor to find out whether there is a relationship between smoking habit and developing cancer uh, then binary logistic regression can be performed to find out whether there is a link or relationship or whether uh, smoking habit can explain the variation in the outcome or can predict possibility or likelihood of getting cancer. As here the outcome is binary and the um, predictor is a multinomial. Before proceeding into doing the binomial uh, logistic regression, uh, let's start do some uh, descriptive analysis. If we click on analyze, then descriptive statistics frequencies, select both variables and drag them into the variable box, and then click on OK, multiple tables will be generated. As shown in the first one, there are 200 valid cases for smoking and cancer and no missing cases. For smoking, there are 200 cases, 50 uh, cases non-smoker and similarly cigarette pipe and uh, uh, smoking cigar uh, cigarettes and for cancer 200 cases half of them are ha have cancer and the other half doesn't have cancer to do the binary logistic regression with uh, this predictor which is smoking and an outcome which is cancer click on analyze scroll down to regression then scroll down to 
uh, binary logistic regression in this new window here since our uh, outcome is the cancer then drag that to the dependent uh, empty box here and for smoking since smoking is a predictor drag that into the covariate if the predictor was continuous then also drag it to the covariate if the predictor also ordinal then drag it into the uh, covariate box here click on categories or categorial since smoking have four categories in it then drag that into categorial covariates and we are going to set the uh, uh, non-smoker as a reference group which is given a value of zero and it's going to be first as selected here click on continue and then uh, click on options for options click on classification click on Hosmer and click on CI uh, confidence interval for exponential p-value click on continue and click on OK before uh, interpreting the results let's look at the assigned value for each categories by uh, clicking on the variable views and then click on the smoking values non-smokers are assigned a zero value this is going to be the reference category to compare to those who smoke cigar given a value of one those with pipes smoking given a two and cigarette three so back again to the output for the binary logistic regression the output here shows that there are 200 cases in the first table with zero missing values in both variables smoking and cancer for the smoking table again the four categories uh, each category has 50 cases in it for cancer there are 200 cases and uh, uh, 100 uh, cases of the having cancer and uh, 100 cases without cancer moving to the uh, next section here which shows that the dependent variable here which is the outcome which is the cancer is assigned a value of zero for no and one for yes classification table also shows how many cases are uh, having uh, cancer and how many doesn't have cancer the next table is variable in the equation it shows here the coefficient uh, value the standard error the wall test used for doing uh, binomial logistic regression degree of freedom significance and expo exponential p-value scrolling down to the most important uh, table which is the model summary this table shows that by looking at this value for here for r square uh, it can be explained that 11.7 percent of variation in the outcome or whether you have a cancer or not can be explained by the predictor which is the habit of smoking the next table here we need this value here to be greater than 0.05 scrolling down toward the end there is a graph here it shows that the predicted probability is of a membership for yes uh, the most important uh, table in the whole output is the table with variables in the equation as shown here we have a pre categorical predictor with four levels in it the first level which is non-smoker are a reference group which is not showing here uh, um, the, ref the group which is assigned a value of one for those who uh, smoke cigar two for pipe three for um, cigarette uh, as shown here from the significance uh, the f this one is significant this one is significant this one is significant so there is association or relationship between smoking uh, whether um, cigarette or pipe or cigar uh, with the probability of having uh, cancer 
as shown here the p-value the coefficient the standard error the wall test the degree of freedom and significant an exponential p which is the odds ratio and then 95 percent confidence interval for the odds ratio is given here as those two uh, values are significant for determining whether the uh, results are significant or not the p-value and the 95 percent confidence interval the way to interpret the result is uh, by stating that uh, those who smoke cigar have uh, 2.7 odds in getting cancer compared to those who do not smoke uh, or smoke at all so uh, there is a higher probability that those who smoke cigar will develop uh, cancer and this is significant for the second category which is a smoking pipe as shown here smoking pipe those who smoke pipe have higher uh, odds compared to do those who do not smoke uh, any kind of uh, um, tobaccos so those who smoke whether um, pipe or cigar are more likely or, or or have higher chance of getting cancer for the final category which is cigarette those who smoke cigarette have six times higher probability of uh, getting cancer compared to those who do not smoke uh, at all so there is a variation in the odds ratio uh, with each categories of the type of smoking but all of them smoking any type of uh, tobacco products increases the chance of getting cancer this is the way to perform binary logistic regression with an outcome that is binary or uh, binomial and uh, a predictor that is categorical or multinomial consisting of at least three categories to find out whether there is a relationship or association between the predictor and the outcome and whether the predictor can predict the outcome and the variation in the outcome can be explained by the predictor in SPSS. If you find this video useful, do subscribe to the channel, leave any comment in the indicated uh, box and activate the notification bell to receive the recent and uh, latest release uh, into the channel of several different video clip and click on the like icon and share the video link with others so the channel can expand and improve to include a large scope of different statistical method and how to analyze data using uh, several different uh, statistical packages such as SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistic, or Statistics, Graphpad, Prism, GPower, Python, and RevMan. If you are a student or a researcher and you have a data whether it is um, um, quantitative all qualitative and you want to perform a statistical uh, analysis on that data using any of the softwares listed here whether it's SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistics, Graphpad, Prism, Revman, GMP, Python then do contact me to arrange for either a one-to-one -one private tutor session or a training course uh, on any of these uh, statistical packages. My contact details are given here. So don't hesitate to uh, write to me or email me if you need uh, a private one-to-one uh, -one, uh, tutoring or a training course.